Hey everybody, Adam Payne here with the Video Marketing Insider and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at a product called Scribble. Now for those of you that don't know, Scribble was actually a product that was originally released back in October of 2018 and I remember reviewing it then. Scribble touts itself as the world's number one ebook creator and whether that's true of course is a matter of opinion. But having the ability to create good looking PDFs or reports or ebooks is really, really beneficial for any kind of online business. And I'll explain why. When you're building any kind of online business, you really need to be building a list. I'm sure you've heard that before, but for people to opt in to your list, you need to have something to give them. I mean, why would they opt in for nothing? So one thing that you can do is you can create checklists, guides, PDFs that look nice, that brand you, and you can give these away to people and you can create these inside of Scribble. So for example, I have lots of videos and articles online and people find them by typing in various search terms, like this video, which is all about creating video sitemaps. Now that may seem boring to you, but there are people that want to learn this stuff. Now they watch my video and in the video, I tell them to click a link below the video, this link here. If they do that, it takes them to a very generic looking opt-in page, which is about the exact topic that they've just watched. And when they opt in and open up their first email that I send them, they get given this nice looking professional PDF, which expands on the video they've watched and gives everything in a lot more detail. It's congruent to the content they've consumed and it looks nice, it's professional, it's got my logo, my branding, and it just helps brand me. But it, of course it helps me build a list. But having the ability to create these very, very quickly is really important. Now, I'm not a graphics person, I'm not a tech person, I couldn't design something like this from scratch. There are people that can, and in fact, I have a full-time virtual assistant that can create these for me. But not everybody can or wants to have a full-time assistant. And this is where things like Scribble become very, very important. So let's go over to the sales page. You can see Scribble is sold on ClickBank. Now, this is important because this gives you a 30-day, I believe, money back guarantee. You've not got to connect with the vendor or chase people down. You can go through ClickBank and they will always honor your refund request. So if you ever pick it up, don't like it, it's not for you, don't stress, you are protected by ClickBank. Now there's a lot of stuff going on on this sales page. Creates amazing eBooks and reports in five minutes without typing any words. Now while this is true, this isn't a lie, and I'll show you why when we look into the actual members area, you're gonna to have to type in some words if you wanna make a PDF that looks really good. But it is possible. I mean, they're kind of yeah, stretching it a little bit with this copy. Now, as you scroll down, you can read through this. Of course, it's copy. They've currently got a promotion going. I don't know if they're gonna keep this going or not. I do not know if this is fake scarcity or real scarcity. So I don't know how much it will cost you when you come here, but right now it seems to cost $67. So that's enough of the sales page. So if you decide to pick this up, you will be presented with a bunch of optional upgrades. Now I'm not gonna review them in detail, but you can see here there are four optional upgrades. You've got the professional version, which is gonna give you a load more templates that I'll show you in a second. And you've got these other three things here. This Fantasia 3D one just turns your, uh, turns your eBooks into 3D style eBooks. And while that looks lovely and it looks posh and nice, whether you really need that is, uh, you know, it's, uh, you can argue that. And then you've got a few other things if you want to use this and, you know, maybe create these ebooks and turn that into like a job for yourself. And it's entirely up to you. I didn't pick up many of the upgrades. So when you first log in, the first thing that, you know, sticks out to me is it's busy. There's lots of stuff going on. You've got the menu at the top. You've got this stuff flying across here. You've got the video. You've got these blue pop-ups that you can't get rid of. And there's too much going on. And to me, that's a negative side. It's almost like they just want to get you to watch more stuff and sell you more stuff. And that's one thing that I didn't really like about this. And you, you know, these upgrades that I didn't buy just stand out here. They're basically, and it's a business, I understand they want to sell more stuff, so I don't really blame them. But it's a bit busy if you ask me. If you scroll down, um, you know, you can watch a webinar, you can get support access here. But when you kind of realize that you don't need a lot of this stuff, it becomes a lot easier. So what you can do, for example, is you can um, click on training. And now again, the one thing that I don't like is it doesn't open up in a new tab, um, but it is what it is. But you can kind of go through the training. It might take a, you know, five or 10 seconds to open up. They've got so much on this website, which may, may mean that it, you know, it's a little bit slower. But all of the tutorials that you need are here. So you're not gonna be really stuck in, you know, what to do or how to do it. And you probably won't need all of these tutorials. 
So let's say that you want to create an ebook. Um, you probably come to templates first. If you purchase that 3D thing up here, you could click on Fantasia 3D and you'd have those options as well. But we're not going to bother with that. And what you'll be presented with are a bunch of different templates. And then you can filter depending on your niche. Now, if you're in online marketing, internet related stuff, you'll find that there are lots of different templates that you can use. And you know you can kind of scroll down and you see there's loads of different stuff here. But maybe you want to filter purely on niche. So you come to category and click this. Now these are um, displayed exactly how ClickBank displays their niches. So let's just say you are in the um, parenting and families niche. You'll click on that and then it's going to kind of load up the templates for that. But there are much fewer templates in this niche than there are for the online stuff. So you see you've only really got these two, pep these two templates. Now you can edit these of course and I'll show you that in a second. But if you think well this is perfect for me or this is perfect for me or this one's perfect for me, you're going to have to upgrade to Pro. And to be perfectly honest, if you are going to use this seriously and long term and you know, if you're uploading videos to YouTube and you're creating blog posts and you want to have a gift for each video and each blog post which is highly recommended, you are going to need to create a bunch of these things. So you may want to upgrade to Pro and it probably would be worth it in the long run. So let me go back to, um, where is it, e-business and e-marketing because that's the main niche that I'm in. I do have a couple of smaller niches but we won't talk about those now. And you kind of go through and you have a look. And I do a lot of YouTube stuff as you know, so there's a couple of options here. You find the one that you like and you can view it and you can just flick through and look at what the pages look like. Uh, so you can see this here. And you think, well, that looks nice. And the images can remain, but you, of course, the text will be dependent on what you want to do. So you think, well, that looks great. I like that. So I'm going to click on Use. Okay, I enter the product name. So I'm going to call this Test for YouTube Review. And then we'll click on Next. Now, it gives you all these options. Now, it's tempting to go to this one. And this is really what they're talking about on the sales page. Don't type in a word. But the trouble is, if you go to one of your blogs or somebody else's content that you have the rights to use because you've asked them beforehand, and you just paste the URL in here, it's going to pull in the content fine, but it's going to mess up all of the formatting of the original ebook. And you're going to spend so much time kind of going back and forth that it's going to kind of render that method pointless. Um, now, you can do these ones as well, but they recommend this one. And yes, it's the slowest method, but it's also the best method to create something that looks good. And it's checked by default, so we'll click on Next. Okay, click on Finish. This will open the chosen template ready for editing, so we'll click on Finish. Okay, and here we are. It's kind of opened up here. Now, if we just kind of scroll down, you will see that <clears throat> this is what we saw previously. So it's very, very simple to use, and it's designed not to be complex. So, of course, you can double-click on this. So you can put your name in. So I put my name in. Um, if you prefer, you can you know, bolden your name to make yourself stand out. All that kind of stuff. Now, that's just the generic kind of stuff here. You can bold, italicize, underline, or move it to the left or right. If you want to add a hyperlink, for example, you would just click on this, click on this, and you would add a hyperlink. Um, so the URL would be here, the text to display. Okay, and you could open it. I would always try and open it in the new window for your user experience because if you open it up in the same window they're going to lose the content but it's easy enough to do that so also if you you can see it's kind of arranged into blocks which a lot of these you know tools are these days and you have the option to move this up or down um, you can click on this little cog to get more advanced features so the font size I'll go from 24 to 27 to 28 you can see that my name's getting bigger you know you can change the height or the width you can change the font, you can change the colouring. So if I change the colouring to green, for example, it doesn't look very nice, but that's how you do it. You just click outside and it's done. Okay. And of course, as you go along, I always recommend with any tools, not just this, you save as you go. Because you know if something happens and you don't save, you're going to lose your stuff. So let's imagine that I've got um, a different kind of um, bit of topic. So I could just say, for example, ranking videos on dun, 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 YouTube. So I've got a video, for example, on how to rank videos on YouTube, and then I'm gonna give a bit more detail in my PDF, so this all makes sense. 
I could of course change my, change the pictures or I could add stuff but you know the point of these templates is to make them look you know is to keep it simple you can of course go hardcore if you want to it's entirely up to you now I might think okay well I don't really want this 0.5 so I click on delete yes I'm sure and I click on delete yes I'm sure because my PDF will only have four sections and then I can go down and I can start you know typing in the text Let's just say I didn't want this bit of text in here because it didn't fit, so I'll delete that bit of text. And then what I could do is I could, you know, click on the cog and I could make the font size. Let's go to 30, that's too big, so let's go to 25. And you just play around with it and just see when it fits in. And you can see now it stretches that bit of text out so it fits in the whole, the whole thing. Um, we've got this one here, the image, so we could click on this. And if you wanted to, you could um, you know, upload an image URL. So for example, I always host my images on Amazon S3. So I could um, get my Amazon S3 image link here, plonk it in here, and then format the image so that if my image is like this huge thing that covers everything, it just, you know, formats it nicely. And then you just go and go through it. You can see it looks nice. You've not got to play around with stuff. But if you want to, you can delete elements and you can change elements. So you kind of come down and then you might think, well, I don't want Google Plus because that doesn't exist anymore. Um, but you might want to have all these things or maybe you just want to remove them all. So let's remove them all. OK, let's remove them all. There you go. Yes, I'm sure. But I want to add something. So I want to add, um, what can we add? I'll add um, another text block. Uh, and I will click on that. And I will make the text white because it stands out a bit better. There you go. And then I'll just put uh, click here for my product, for example. And then I'd hyperlink it to my sales page, something like that. Okay. And you just go through and you play with it. So when you are happy with how it looks, and let's just pretend that we didn't like this whole page. Let's delete this whole page, okay? Get rid of that page so you can delete a page easy. We'll save everything first of all because as you know you should always save something and I don't want to keep saying the same thing but it's really really important. Okay and when you're good to go, okay let's just uh, get rid of that little pop-up, you could click on generate ebook and you have the new method or you have the legacy method. This seems to be highlighted by default so let's click on the new method. And we'll save our content and basically you're going to be able to download your content if you want. I would always upload my PDF to Amazon S3 um, and then basically that's it. So look, download PDF file. So click on that. Okay, downloading it there. I then re rename it and then let's just double click on it, see what it looks like. There you go. Look at that. Nice little PDF there. So come back there uh, and it was easy, you know. And then I would upload it to Amazon S3. I would make it public in Amazon S3 and then whenever anybody came to a website of mine and read a blog post, I would use this as what's called a content upgrade. So they're reading, for example, they're reading a blog post all about ranking videos on YouTube and then I might have, or ranking videos on Google for example, and then this content upgrade would be also get my ranking videos on YouTube guide as well. Or it could be a checklist or it could be whatever, but it's something that adds value to the original post but it's congruent. And if you have the ability to create these very, very simply, very, very quickly, you can just add these to all of your videos, to all of your blog posts, if you want. You don't have to add them to all of them, of course, but you can do. And you can just start building a list. Get opt-ins. Always deliver these in emails. Don't put them on the thank you page because people will often you know, give you fake email addresses. And that's that. So I think Scribble is a really, really good product. So let me just come back to the sales page. So the good thing about this product is it's easy to use, as I've shown you. There are, there's nothing to download, nothing to install. You don't need any technical skill set. Um, I think it's relatively cheap because for the amount of eBooks you can create, it's good. But I do think that you probably would want to get the pro version just to get you know more options out there. But be sensible. Get the regular version first and then get the pro version if you are satisfied with the regular version and you think it will help you. You don't actually have to buy stuff when you go through the funnel because they, they've got, they got the notifications inside of the dashboard. If I go back, not there, if I um, 
Uh, I'll go back, yeah, back here actually. Yeah. So now I'm going to just save and exit because maybe you can want to come back to your project later on. You know, you're boiling a cup of boiling a cup of coffee, make boiling, making a cup of coffee, whatever. Um, so you can kind of go back. The thing that I didn't like about this product, apart from the numerous upgrades, is it's, it's a busy product. There's just a lot going on. But once you get the hang of things, once you you know learn things and see things, I think you'll be good to go and you'll just kind of turn yourself off of all the things that you don't really need up here and pop-ups that fly around. Um, I'm not going to really... Like I said, the Fantasia thing is the... 3D style PDFs, I think that's not really necessary. They look nice, but do you need it? You probably only need it if you really want to sell stuff and you want to sell stuff hard. Um, I've not really focused much on the Prime or the Job Finder as well. So with that being said, I definitely think Scribble is worthwhile investment. I'll leave a link below to you to pick it up. And I'll also leave a link below to a blog post. Now my blog post was originally published in 2018, but I've edited the blog post to be updated to now so when you go to that blog post it may look like it's an older episode but the content has actually been updated so with that being said if you have any questions about scribble let me know i appreciate your time i hope i haven't kept you too long and yes yeah, start creating some ebooks sell them and start you know adding content upgrades to your original content cheers and i'll see you soon Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions or you need more clarification, go and watch the video once more. Over on the right hand side, we have some more trainings and reviews, so go and watch those as well. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already, and hit the bell notification. Other than that, ask any questions you've got below, and I'll see you soon.